Lady Bird is directed by Greta Gerwig and stars Saoirse Ronan as Christine, who likes to be called Lady Bird. She's a high school student who is just about done with her whole high school career and she can't wait to go to college. However, she doesn't want to go to college in California or areas near Sacramento where she lives. She finds her very dull Monday in town, she's not really fond of the people, she's not really fond of things that are there, and she would rather go to the East Coast to a more culturally diverse place like New York. However, in the wake of events which have taken place, because this movie takes place in 2002, her mom is not the most excited about that. And so she's trying to make her way through this final year of high school where she's starting to realize more about what she loves in her life, what is closer to her than other stuff. When you watch a film like this, and this is especially in terms of how real things can be, this is one of those movies that doesn't feel like a movie. It really feels like you are getting an insight into other people's lives because so much of this film feels natural. It doesn't feel like you're seeing Lady Bird's life. You feel like you're actually seeing a person's life on screen. And it feels so natural that you believe the characters for who they are. This movie was quite refreshing that way because it's a coming of age story. This was easily a genre that could go in many different ways. Well, specifically similar ways which they usually go through, which is boy meets girl or girl meets boy and they fall in love and it's about this relationship before high school's over. The movie does have relationships in it, but it's not the focus. I mean, there is a focus on one relationship and that is between Lady Bird and her mother. They have a very tumultuous relationship and as the film goes on, it kind of builds more and more and it leads to some beautiful moments between the two characters because there is a divide between the two. She has her dad who is this nice guy who will always say yes to everything and he's the guy who's always there for her in terms of the happy stuff. But every time it comes to her mom, her mom is more, well, strict. She's more stoic in terms of things and so She's not completely okay with that at times because her mom doesn't want her to apply to the East Coast colleges and she gets very upset that if she tries to do something like that because of things like finance, etc. And those kind of themes are very re relevant because people have had that. You know, I've had that time where sometimes you try to tell something and I'm like, okay, I'm getting across to you. Why am I not getting across to you? Like, th come on, can we not find middle ground here somewhere? The film is also surprisingly really funny. It raises some very funny things that, well, make you laugh and they were really quite, quite effective. One of the funniest things and one of the things that, I mean, is so self-aware is she's talking about trying to go to a liberal arts college in the East Coast, preferably New York City. And she looks to her friend and says, hey, do you think I'll get into Sarah Lawrence? I mean, my mom says I won't. She also talks about how she's not very good at math. I was not very good at math. I would sometimes have conversations with my parents. I'd be like, you were good at math. You were good at math. I'm not good at math. What went wrong here? Like, how is it that you guys are good at math? Because she says that my mom's good at math. My dad's good at math. My brother's good at math. He has a degree in math, but I'm not good at math. What's going on here? I'm like, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's, that's what happened with me. Hmm. Accurate representation of childhood. Saoirse Ronan in this film is Oscar worthy. She's already been nominated before and last year she was in, well, last to last year, she was in Brooklyn. That was an amazing movie and her performance in that was incredible. In that movie she got Oscar nominated. This might just win her the Oscar. She's so good in this. And so are the other actors and actresses. Like this was a very well acted film with some excellent dialogue and with some really beautiful moments sprinkled into the film that make you kind of tear up. It's a beautifully done movie. It's a well directed film. It's a well shot film. It looks really nice as well. And so much of this film works. In fact, all of it works. This is one of the best films I've seen this year easily. Not the best, but it's definitely up there. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. And I really hope everybody goes and sees it. I'm gonna give Lady Bird a 10 out of 10. Guys, yeah, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to my review of The Florida Project. I saw that as well and I'm looking forward to talking about that. And look forward to tomorrow for my review of Coco. That's gonna be fun. I'm excited about that as well. You guys are the best and as always, if you like this, please do subscribe and I'll see you guys at the movies.